I'm going to show you our subscription to Newstream. It's a free newspaper archive covering articles from today back the last 10 or 20 years, depending on the newspaper. So it's great if you want to go back to something you read in a paper that you happen to have recycled. Um, it's got the dailies and Sunday papers, national, including tabloids, as well as regional papers around the UK, some European titles and locally, the Western Mercury, Cheddar Valley Gazette, North Somerset Times, Bristol Post. So if you want to research recent history, this is a good place to start. All you need is an internet connection, a web browser and your library card. If you start out at the Libraries West web page, then you can follow the links if you find the tile for the online reference service. Then on that page, as well as telling you about ebooks, it gives you links to the different authorities who all have different online subscriptions. You can go straight to this page by doing a Google search for online home and North Somerset, um, or you can type in www.n-somerset.gov.uk forward slash online library and that will take you there as well. This lists all our online subscriptions and we'll have the link that takes you to Newstream. If you're doing this from home, you need to put in your library card number and in, for this product, you need to type in NSC in capitals for North Somerset Council and then your library card number. And that will take you in. Once you're in, you've got a big search box to put your terms in. So if it's an article, you put in what you can remember about the article and you should be able to retrieve it. I'm just going to try a search for David Bowie. Type in. You'll see I've got on the left here over 886,000 results. So I need to filter those. I can filter them by or particular publication. You can also amend the dates so you can just have the most recent slide these to have the most recent or equally slide it the other way to have the oldest. So there are various ways you can reduce the number of results to be closer to what you're looking for down the side here. Or alternatively, if you are good at this sort of thing, you can go straight to the option to do advanced search where they have all those limits you can put in before you start the search. But going back to the results, you'll see here, top one here, you've got an option to look just look at the abstract. That is a short version to see whether it's what you want or go straight to the full text. But if you know it, this is the article you want, you can click straight on the blue highlighted area. And once you've got the article, you'll see here at the top, you've got the abstract and here you've got the full text. If it was in a foreign language, you've got the option also to translate it. And over here on the top right, you've got the choices of saving it, saving it as a PDF, citing it. So if you're really doing research, you want to, to cite it, to email it or to print it. So fairly simple to use if you're looking after a particular article. Um, if you want to browse a particular publication, you can go to the publications tab and find a particular newspaper. So if we look for the Times, it 
tells you that there are 18 different newspapers with the times in, in the title. So I think it'll be near the bottom with the one we're looking for. So the Times, London, this database has got it from 1992 to the present day. If you click on the title, then you've got the option to browse a particular, looking for a particular edition of the newspaper. So a great resource, do have a go. And if you have any problems, remember you can always email us at libraries at North Somerset. So that's libraries at n-somerset.gov.uk. And do have fun.